Mission complete. Okay, let's do this rearing thing with the horse. Oh, he's pooping! Study? Show info. This is your main horse. I want to pat him. Horses got a butt. Yeah, okay, boy. Great. I don't know what it said before about leading him. Oh, I guess I go in this way. Oh, apparently that's not where I'm supposed to go. Oh, he was in this little hidey hole place. Arthur, run, please! You're so fucking slow! <laughs> I guess he is walking through like a foot of snow, though. In here. <coughs> We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? Oh, time to go hunting. When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. <laughs> when we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny a bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found nothing. Enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted off. Huh? Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't I've got go cakes in my here. pocket. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. <gasps> you think this is rest? Come along. Is that Catalo's voice actor? <coughs> Who is that? What's his name? Someone look it up for me. Yeah, you take this. A thousand percent, that's him. That's oh, him! You're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. Yeah, that's Nashir. You're never too old to learn. <laughs> All right, let's head out. Charles, yeah. I'm assuming... I guess I can't... How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay. Apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Yeah. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. <laughs> I got it. Hold on. Pull a bow right now. Uh, sure, hold I don't know if that worked. Never really got the hang can of someone it. just, like, hit the clip button so I can go back and... So, Make a clip because I want to tag him on Twitter. <laughs> There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. I can recognize him better as Charles than I could as Knight Reese in uh, Fallout. <clears throat> Thank you, Hannah. Stuck in the storm, going out for John. That thing with the old Driscoll's? I mean, Catalo's voice lives in my head rent fucking free, so. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. Just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. 
Well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. So cinematic. See some of the ground uncovered here. Come on, let's try this way. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. Jen Hale's voice is pretty recognizable, but it took me a while to hear. Her as creme. But if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh. Stay quiet. Hey, stop here a second. I see something. Easy. Deer been here recently. How can you tell? How can you not? Let's walk it from here. You're it. gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. But I need. Oh no, not that. This. Hear everything around. Keep down. Move quietly and slowly. Thank you, Hannah. Keep your head down. I also am pretty good at recognizing voices. You see the tracks? I think so. Maybe not. Right there. Focus. Eagle eye. Focus on track. Q. It's easier in the snow, but once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track nearly as well in grass and woods. I can hear Kimberly Brooks in almost anything. Um, I recognized her in Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, like from one, like two sentences or not even two sentences. Um, and then, of course, she's like every other Brotherhood Knight in Fallout. Oh, there it is. Wait, look. There they are. Are you ready with that bow? Try to hit him in the neck or head. Quick and clean. You can pull back quite hard. You'll feel this too much. Oh god. Take the shot. Oh god. I was pulling back too much. My stamina is too low. I think I need to drink some bourbon. Where's my bourbon? Tonics?
There's my bourbon. And then I want... I need my stamina. Attract an animal's attention by selecting call while aiming at it. This will give you a chance of a clean kill as they raise their head before fleeing. Where's the other one? Okay. Uh Oh, over there. Done. Got it. I think that's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay, I'll go grab the other one. <gasps> yeah. Oh, whistle. Where's my horse? Okay, that's fine. Oh, he's over here. Come on, buddy. Arthur's so tired from walking in the snow. Yeah, Katalo, relax. All right, Charles. Yep. Ready to head back when you are. Come on, then. Let's head back. Slow it down. <laughs> Careful. Nice work, Arthur. Thanks. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. Yeah, I know there's like legendary <laughs> animals and stuff. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back. Well maybe our luck's finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Hmm. You're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. 
We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding the old Driscoll a damn thing. <laughs> Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl. She has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Yeah, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah, uh, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. You must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. I want to shoot it. Whoa. Where'd it go? Oh, over there. Okay, stop, stop. Bear has spooked your horse. I guess I'm not shooting the horse. I mean, not the horse, the bear. Hey, never talk that much, you me. It wasn't How a snowy bear. Five, six months. Boa. Something like that. You're good, hey, boa. You didn't expect this. What? Any of this? Black water mess. Being up here. Ah, uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I, just I guess it was a bear out in the snow. Now. You want me to move on? No. No, no, no don't no. leave Catalo. I know you could run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know. Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. He taught me to read. Oh, perfect. John, too. He taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. <laughs> Won't take nobody but him. I could listen to the two of them talk for fucking ever. Both of their voices are... Chef's kiss. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Oh, 
want some food back, boys. Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Oh, yeah. Thank you for showing me how to use the boat properly. I only showed you a little. It's pooping it's again. <laughs> well, well, well. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Let's drop it down in here. Hey. What a surprise. Find a camp I did not see that my horse has balls. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. Why, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Jesus. Rubs, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah. Oh. Seems to have done a treat on you. <laughs> you go rest that hand, Charles. We'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? <coughs> Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one, you, you dumped on the floor there. Don't look. Huh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else... <laughs> You bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> <coughs> we're eating venison tonight, boys. A few days later. Been a bad few weeks, but Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but <laughs> look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. What's left of me? What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. What? Bide your time. Are they married? You see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway man. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah. Come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now... Suddenly, we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? Yeah, who He's is he? Railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Yeah. That gentleman! Let's Robin Hood this son of a bitch. Make something of ourselves. 
Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Hello, Omega Leonidas. How are ya? Everyone ready? All right, let's head out. Wow, it's not snowing today. Okay, gentlemen, listen up. All of you. Double tap L. Shift left shift to move up the formation or double tap okay. We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier? You two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. Uh. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Yes. Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough. Yeah, he was Knight that Reese. Bill the tracks. We're gonna need to move fast. But it's harder to, to pinpoint um, him doing that voice. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride. He's not as gruff. And Reese is an asshole. There's a spotlight on us. I know it's the moon, but and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. <gasps> it's green. Keep your eyes sharp. Jesus, how long were we riding? No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times are you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back, and that's the end of it. The money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money. Once we work out how to cash them. Now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. Yes, sir. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Easy. Is Bill there? Yeah. You wanna head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Oh. Do I get off my horse? <laughs> He's pooping again! <laughs> Every time I get off the horse, he's pooping. I don't know if I was supposed to get off my horse. This is probably easier. Hey, Bill. Yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? <laughs> All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator.
Okay, this is good. All right. That should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. Okie dokie. Yeah, look at me. I'm getting my stamina up. All of you. No mistakes. Arthur's tired. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Is it, aren't they going to see us up here? Okay. I think so. Okay. I just Cover wasn't in the right spot. Dutch needed now. me right beside him, I guess. Switch to the item wheel. Select close. Oh, this is my disguise. Okay. It is just Barbie Horse Adventure, you're right. Gentlemen, it's time. Oh boy. Oh boy. Good luck. All of you. You all know what to do. I I don't. Oh, I have to get on the back the back of the car. Here do it. Go. Do it. Uh oh. You said it was fine. It was my fault. Come on! You're pathetic. You know that? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta jump on the train? Oh, fuck me. Here we go! Here we go. <gasps> <gasps> oh. Oh. oh, I had to click. Big man. Should I have my knife? Search the drawer. Search the drawer. Wait! I want to search the drawer! <laughs> Fuck. Take. <laughs> Shouldn't we push up? Yeah, I'm going. Uh-oh. 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 You. We best get up there. Oh, did you kill him? Oh, no, you didn't. Fuck. Come on, let's get to the front. Got him. Kill that bastard. 
No, don't kill me. Oh, dick. 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 I'm trying to aim my weapon. Why can't I fucking aim my weapon? Why did my weapon go away? <gasps> no! Game over. Fuck. Lenny died! <laughs> it was candy. What the fuck? All right. I just wanted to loot. Look out. Got more coming off the train. Oh shit. That better be some money at the end of All these bastards must be guarding something. What? Yep, he's pushing on me. Still okay? I think so. Good. Damn, got Who is this guy? Good, kid. Oh wait, I thought I was done. Only minor casualties. Rainbow! Did I loot this guy? No. There were a lot of people. Oh, I guess I walked on top of these cars. Oh! Oh, Kate. Okay. No looting... Oh, okay, can't loot that guy. What are you doing? Get over here. Shut up. Eighty two cents. We don't have time to play games. It's actually true. We probably don't because. The last time I fucked around and looted, Lenny died. You two all right? Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. I was looting. Want to kill any of you. Any more I am having a rootin' tootin' good time. I give you my word, 
but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corp. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little! We're just... Oh. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. Excuse me? Let's go blow that door open. Oh. 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 It don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Here we go. Now light the fuse. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on. Just walk on out here. We don't want to kill you. We just want to rob your boss. Get on up there. Search that train. Where's the rest of them? Shut up, Mark Arthur. at this place <laughs> it's like a palace well, now i've seen everything oh you two got the safe i'll search the rest oh yes should be easy as cake oh you're just gonna stand there kid pour me some brandy will you i'm parched shut up me and arthur did all the work yeah kid did good didn't see you rushing to jump on that train he's keen i'll give you that Dear Mr. Cornwall, we are yet to receive payment of $2,000 for the initial phase of exploration at the Wapiti Indian Reservation. M. Barino as agreed. In the contract between Cornwall, Kerosene, and Tar and the Leland Oil Development Company. Dated November 9th, 1898 on receipt of the funds we will proceed with phase phases two and three of the project and present you with the detailed report of our findings within the month yours respectfully sugar imports from james critchley a lot of sugar some fancy new boat he's ordered from europe nothing on the back another boat as long as i live I'm gonna assume that like pushing the read button Have maybe all the drawers and cabinets? stops the other ambient dialogue from happening. I, I got too many cigars. Any luck, Arthur? Nothing much yet. What are you talking about? We found a letter. Well, let's keep looking. Oh, <gasps> twenty-five dollars. These just seem to be contracts. Arthur, have you looked down the end there? <sighs> well, keep looking. <gasps> there must no, be something. What's that? Money! How's it looking in there? A bond? And then what about in here? Nice. Thank God. Come on. Uh nothing is this a letter too dear okay i can't read this one dear leviticus thank you for the telegram and your continued interest in the jameson mine and company however any news you have received of mismanagement or financial difficulties at the mine in Ansburg are simply fake, and I would urge you to question your sources. The coal industry is quite different from the oil industry in a number of ways, so I certainly remain open to a business meeting at your convenience to exchange ideas and educate each other on our respective areas of corporate expertise. 
I would also be delighted to host you in Ainsburg and give you a personal tour of the mine and its associated facilities. I look forward to further correspondence. Yours sincerely, Archibald Jameson. I think that's it. Can I take this watch? No, just the cigarette. Or the cigar. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Yeah. Okay. Get on the train. Quick. All of you. Oh. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on, move. We won't tell a soul, I swear. Get on that so fucking train. Step from this car, you'll end up like all your friends out here. Said quick. I get to drive the train. That's exciting. Arthur's so tired. Oh. It's just going. I'm not on it. Uh, I guess that's fair. What an adventure. No, I guess I didn't want to. Would have been fun to drive it, though. So, are we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. I know, I was there, dude. Pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to fall into, like, a, a folk country uh, rabbit hole on Spotify or something. Um, when I was getting my tattoo done at the tattoo shop in St. John, New Brunswick, the artist in the shop was playing this, uh, this bit. Fuck, what were they called? The steel... Mike, Steel drivers? Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me with the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Yeah, the steel drivers. They were playing um one of the one of their albums on repeat 
at the tattoo shop. And that's all I listened to for a really long time. Lord Huron. Okay, I'll look them up. Abby Kathlyn. Great. Trying. Okay, let's take a look. Did I do that? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, <laughs> let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. Uh oh. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on. Huh? You still strong enough to hold up a wing? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. <laughs> Pick the wheel up. <laughs> Nearly there. There. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. Hopefully the rum and the whiskey weren't in that. <gasps> what do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. <clears throat> not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. Hurry it up, we've got work to do. So, yes, the Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. So oh, wow, it. away from them, it was every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? <gasps> Squirrels! Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of that, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our blockheaded driver here. <laughs> hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy, don't mean I guess I am. Squirrel. About what he's talking about. Rabbit. Deer. <laughs> so, what happened to your trap? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. But when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. A wabbit! Oh, life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some You are now hot. This mother. is shown by the flashing sun life. icon in your health core. We never saw her again. Make sure you wear clothes appropriate to the environment. Well, I can't do shit about that right now. Drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. So Wait, Arthur's like 35? What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Dear! We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. 
Pinkertons? Let's hope not. Oh. In this place we're going. Wait. Well, what's it called again? Horseshoe overlook. I pushed the shift key to too many times. No do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? It's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real I hate that that's a thing on computers. You push the shift just, key too many times like that like something Things mode activates. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. <gasps> that deer's got a white butt! That's probably an elk. Yeah, like what even is sticky keys? Maybe try being less excited about it. <laughs> not about trying to make the horse go faster. Just some yarrow and <laughs> Gee, not Wait enough. <laughs> Better than that stuff you buy in the what is store. he doing? Yeah, you can have all this. What is it? At the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay, thank you. I acquired some herbs. These can be consumed to replenish your cores used in cooking or to craft items. Okay, good to know. American ginseng. Oh, oh, oh. Yarrow. Head in there. Follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. Went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. <laughs> well, I certainly don't want to do that, Andy. Alberta's already too big for its own britches. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. Wow! You were wrong, Jose. This place is you perfect. Are. I hope so. Gentlemen, <laughs> we have survived. Can't pull now, that over my eyes. Now it is time to prosper. Let me take off this hot ass jacket. We were on to something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose. Every last one of us. But I kept <laughs> us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck. East of the Grizzlies and out of money and a long way I have $25. Dream, I'm rich. In the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around Was that Charles? Charles Sam, has long hair? A few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around No, you? Charles was on This world has its consolation. The wagon with me. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer Robin Banks. Oh, yeah, that is Charles. Seems more dignified I think. somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Exactly. Hi, Deweyism. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the Why north. is he wearing that fucking there, hat? See what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named Valentine. 
livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. My own tent? I'm sure, everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. Rude. Do I want clean shaven Arthur? Chapter 2 Horseshoe Overlook. A couple of weeks later. No, I'm going to keep Scruffy Arthur. We got off the mountain, and rode east into some. Pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more. <gasps> Look at it, it's so much beardier. A little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier. In spite of black water and that whole mess. Arthur? Jose? <laughs> Coffee? Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna... We're gonna do some... Let's see. Let's see what, what the shaving is. Oh, pomade my hair? <gasps> no. Trim your own hair. Wait, what? How do I do this? This is your current length. Hey, okay, wait. Chin? Oh. I can grow it out more? Oh, adjust with these, not with A and D. <laughs> no. <gasps> Wait. What if I give him the Aaron Van Guardsman? No, this is what we're doing. 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 He's going to be Aaron Van Guardsman. Yeah, I know it can grow back, which is great. Uh, he's going to be the Aaron Van Guardsman. So it just needs to be a little bit. Oh no, I shaved it. That's okay. I can't go more. Damn it, once you shave it, you can't go back. No, I like that long. Okay. And then... 
I have no pomade to apply. <laughs> uh, examine. Who's this? Patrice Morgan, Spring Rocks, 1870. Is that his mama? No, he's having chops. Uh... I want to... E. What's this? See, look, it looks like his pa! It looks like his daddy! He's matching his daddy! I'm assuming that's his dad. <gasps> Arthur's dog! Oh yeah, Arthur's father. Arthur's horseshoe. Hosea, Dutch, and Arthur. Oh my god, Arthur looks so different. Wait, I didn't want to see that. I want the book. Someone listening to the radio? I will say the weight thing drove me up the wall. I kept being warned I was too thin because you- Oh, that's a thing? Oh god, okay. I don't want to examine the f oh, this. Sure, I'll take that. Uh... What are these? Brazen bank robbery. Three men saw it. Are they looking for me? I'll take that. Who's this chick? Is it his girlfriend? His sister? His wife? I don't know, don't tell me. Okay. There was something about a stew. Oh, what's his face is over here. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Donate. Could really use some good meat for this stew. What's this? Mature venison meat. Donate. I'll keep the fish meat and the stringy meat and the animal fat. Or I'll sell it. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, don't say I never did nothing for you. What's this? Unsure. Hello, Miss Grimshaw. This is the money? Come on. Nope. What are we doing? Uh, let's give some money. I have fifty dollars. Let's give ten dollars. I don't know if that's, like, enough. And then what else? Item. I have a maple syrup question. Is it better to sell... 
these and give the money after? Or is it better to give these items in? Or does it not matter? Not sure if it matters. Okay. Change clothing. There's the plaid. Hot temperatures, cold temperatures. Hot temperatures. What about this one? Average temperatures, hot temperatures. This is suitable for hot temperatures. He's got a plaid shirt. We're going to wear this one. Hats. I like this hat. Oats? Oh! I can mix and match? Oh! Slightly warm pair with other warm items to protect from cold. I'll leave that on. Oh, I don't want a vest. Let's put some ranch pants on. Wait. Pants. Oh, shirts. Everyday shirt. Everyday over shirt. French dress shirt. Union shirt. Everyday shirt. Ah, plaid. Pants. <laughs> no, I don't want ch chaps. Hell yeah, Arthur, you're wearing these. So sexy. Furs, masks, bandanas, neckwears, gloves. <gasps> okay, there's a lot of stuff here. Ah, uh, what's taking so long, Pearson? You've no outfits suitable for cold weather on your horse. What does that mean? Well, this is what I'm wearing. Uh, oh, store on horse. Just in case it gets too cold, I guess. Store it on that one. And then let's do... Let's put this one on the horse. Actually, let's put this one on the horse too. Oh. 
Okay, I don't know what I did. Thank you so much for watching the video and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. I'm hoping to get the channel to 500 subs by the end of 2022 and your support would be so helpful. And just a reminder, if you want to watch me live on Twitch, I stream Sundays, Wednesdays, and every other Fridays at 8 p.m. Eastern at twitch.tv slash Thanks so much. Bye.